Good evening. Today, the famed masked vigilante, Rorschach, was apprehended by police authorities. The true identity of this man is one Walter Kovacs. Kovacs, an unemployed street prophet, is now under psychological evaluation in Sing Sing Prison. Journal of Dr. Malcolm Long, October 26, 1985. Case study Walter Kovacs, inmate. I'm very encouraged by the, this case. A success here could make my reputation. Kovacs is fascinatingly ugly. I could study that face for hours. Only problem is, he stares back. I don't like it when he stares back at me. Now, Walter, I suppose you know what this is. I'd like for you to look at this and tell me what you see. Will you do that for me, Walter? Will you look at that and tell me what you see? It's a pretty butterfly. That's wonderful. Now, will you take a look at this one and tell me what you see? Will you do that for me, Walter? Some nice flowers. Great. Wonderful, just great. I want you to know that I'm very, very pleased with your responses this afternoon, Walter. Now, I think there's great hope for you. Don't you? <clears throat> Good morning, Walter. Today, I'd like to do something different. Frankly, Walter, I'd like to talk about Rorschach. Will you do that for me, Walter? Let's talk about Rorschach. You keep calling me Walter. I don't like you. You don't like me? All right. Why is that exactly? Fat, wealthy, think you understand pain. I'll tell you about Rorschach, 1956, age 16, left home, became unskilled, manual worker for garment industry, 1962, special order for dress in new Dr. Manhattan spin-off fabric, viscous fluids between two layers of latex, customer, young girl, Italian name, never picked up order. Said dress was ugly. Wrong. Not ugly at all. Black and white moving. Changing shape, but never becoming gray. Very, very beautiful. Nobody wanted it. Took it home and learned how to cut it with heated implements to reseal the latex. When I was done cutting it, it didn't look like a woman anymore. I knew what people were and I made a face that I could look at in the mirror. A face? I see. Walter, just because a select few people have chosen to be deranged doesn't mean the whole humanity is rotten. You suffer from a negative world view. There are good people in the world. Like you? Me? Well, I wouldn't say that I... No, you just think it. Think you're good people. Why are you spending so much time with me, doctor? Well, because I care about you. And I want to make you well. People down in the cells behave you're more extreme than mine. You don't spend any time with them. But then they're not famous. Well, get your name in the journals. You don't want me well. Just want to know what makes me sick. You'll find out. Have patience, doctor. You'll find out.
Journal of Dr. Long, October 27, 1985. Case study, inmate Walter Kovacs. What we have is a case here of classic mismatched aggression. Kovacs hated his mother after her death. Mother was alcoholic, abusive, prostitute. He hated her. Had no father figure when growing up, perhaps mentally retarded in the formative years, bullied. So he sought shelter in the criminal fraternity. That's it. Case closed. I wonder what he meant. You'll find out. Good evening. Tonight, a large apartment complex caught fire, entrapping nearly 100 people. However, all residents were brought to safety with the aid of a supposed costumed hero and suspected accomplices. The large owl-shaped hover ship carried all residents to safety and then quickly left the scene before authorities could apprehend the criminal for arrest. More on this story as it develops.